Everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Earlier this morning, Ubiquiti dropped Unified Design Center 2.1.0 that brought some great quality of life changes as well as added some devices like the Pro Max line of switching. They've also fixed some bugs like the export bug, which wouldn't allow us to download the PDF, which was a huge pain point. So let's jump right into what's new. Now, some of you may have already seen this floor plan before. This is a shared workspace that I'm currently working on and we are filming. We're not gonna be filming the actual cable pulls, but we'll be filming the terminations in the rack and installing devices, as well as testing our Wi-Fi design with Echo House Sidekick 2. That will be in a different video, so watch out for that. But the first change here is the way that we could edit walls. I already have all my walls drawn in, but if we click on a wall right now, we could edit it. And if we scroll in, we could change this wall to whatever we like. This might've been a feature before, but it's new to me. So if we want this now to be concrete, we could change that. At the beginning of this project, all of these walls were supposed to be drywall, but you could see it's now smart frosted glass and the doors, those are just gonna be standard doors. But right here across the whole way, I have it showing that it's just drywall. So if we click on the wall, we could actually make pivot points. So I'm gonna click on the wall here and then I'm gonna add a point. With that point now selected, we could select a different type of material say for a door or we could have it change to glass. That is a very nice quality of life change. Next up is the addition to the new devices that we could add. So if we click on place device, we're gonna go over each one of these that has been added into the Unify Design Center. So if we look under Unify Cloud Gateways, the ones that are new here would be the Unify Express, the Cloud Gateway Ultra, Gateway Lite, and that's it for the gateways, but we have more for the access points. The first new addition is the addition of the U7 Pro, which is Ubiquiti's first Wi-Fi 7 AP. And if we scroll down a little further, we see the Swiss Army Knife or the UK Ultra. We also have some new switch additions in here. So for the switches, we have all of the Pro Max switches. So the Pro Max 48 PoE, the non-PoE, the Pro Max 24 PoE, and the Pro Max 24. We also have all of the Ultra switches, which come in a bit of different models, depending on the power supply you go with. The other thing that is new is our Unify Access. So if we look under Unify Access, we now have the Intercom Viewer, and we have the Intercom, which is great, and we have the Enterprise Access Hub. Now for cameras, we have the AI Pro White, we have the new G5 Dome Ultra, we have the G5 Turret, and then we have the AI Theta Pro. I'm not using any of those cameras at this job currently. We're gonna be using some G5 domes as well as an AI360. Now, two other products that they added that I don't use is the Unify Cable Internet as well as the EV Station Pro. So if you use that, you'll be able to find it in the device tab. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place a couple U6 Enterprise access points to show you the change in the Wi-Fi. So if we go back to our devices and we click on Wi-Fi, We'll scroll down and we could see the U6 Enterprise and we're gonna place it on the screen. Right away, you could tell that the radiation pattern for these has changed and the coloring has changed for it. So I'm just gonna place a couple around. Now down at the bottom of the floor map, we could see where it says Wi-Fi coverage. And when we move our mouse, it's gonna change the signal where the mouse is as if we were standing there. So you could see right now it's in the yellow, it's in good signal. But if I move it over to the green, it's showing that we're at about minus 65 dBm, which is good. So that's a nice touch that they added to the design center. Another thing within design center that I really like is the ability to design your rack. So if we go to place devices, we could go down and go to accessories. And this is going to show us a couple different racks. There's a 24U, there's a 48U, and then there seems to be a Unify rack 24U with a PDU. We are using a 48U for this one, and we're gonna put it in the telephone room, which is now the network room. Clicking on the rack, we could hit the settings wheel, and this is gonna show us our rack and we could add new devices to it. So if I go ahead and I click on this top one, it shows the UDM Pro, but we're gonna delete that and we're gonna add in the UDM SE. We also don't have an RPS at this time, but we might eventually get one. This PDU, I'm gonna move more towards the middle of the rack just because the power cables that come with the Ubiquiti devices aren't super long. But then we're gonna click on expand your core Unify technology. It has a couple different things here. So we have internet solutions, redundant power systems, we have network video recorders, we have additional switching capacity and additional gateway redundancy. So we'll start off with the redundancy for our gateways. We are gonna have two UDM SEs in this rack for high availability and hopefully the shadow mode becomes automated eventually. 
So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to add two of the UDMSEs. They place the UDMSEs right at the top of the rack and I'm probably going to leave it like that. But now let's do our switching capacity. So we'll expand the core unified technologies again and we'll go to switching. For this build out, we're going to be using five of the Pro Max 48 PoE. So we'll add five and they're just going to stack underneath the UDMSE. But we need to have patch panels in here and they do allow us to grab patch panels. So we'll go back to expand the uh, Unify technologies and the patch panels could be found under the switching capacity and then show more and it's right at the bottom. So since we have 548 port switches, we need to have 10 24 port patch panels. So we're going to add that in. Now, the other switch that we're using here is the high capacity pro aggregation switch. So we're going to add that and we may also grab a second one eventually. Now you can see it's added all of our gear into this rack, but I don't want it just lined up like this. I don't want my patch panels stacked on top of each other. We use six inch patch cables here, so I'm going to move a couple of these things. So I'm just going to throw a couple pro maxes down near the bottom so we could put the patch panels in. Now I'm going to grab one patch panel and then I'll grab a switch and then we'll do another patch panel. I'm going to move this switch down and we have to add another patch panel, move this switch down one more patch panel, and then we'll do that again. We need a patch panel below because those six inch cables aren't going to reach too far. And then we could add one more patch panel, add the switch and then another patch panel. Now we also have a UMVR pro and we're going to put that near the bottom. So I'm going to go to the network video recorder and I'm going to do the UMVR pro at the bottom. Also, people have been asking, I did post on Facebook and on Twitter about this, how I'm going to do the cable management between the switches. Well, on the side of the rack that's already existing, we have vertical cable managers. So we'll be running the DAC cables through that. Now, another new change is the ability to name our devices. So if I click on this access point, we see this pencil icon, which says rename. So I'm going to name this AP1. Once we press save, that's going to name it. The naming won't show up right away. We need to go to the right corner click on display options, and then we need to put it on high and also put the names on. So you can see that we have AP1. It's showing this one as G5 Dome because I haven't named it. This one is AP2. This is a great new feature because if you're printing this out to give to your installers, they're gonna know what to name these access points or the cameras. Now, the last thing we're gonna talk about in this update is the ability to place the APs on the wall. So we could switch instead of them being on the ceiling, they go on the wall. All we need to do is click on the AP and it says switch to wall mounted. And now it's wall mounted. And you can see that that reduces our Wi-Fi coverage. Now that was a very quick video on the updates for the unified design center. And I really do like these new changes, but you need to validate your design after by going on site and using a Wi-Fi tool. My next video is going to be on the Echo House Sidekick 2, but it will be more on the design side at first. We'll be putting it into AI Pro, which is kind of like Design Center, but more sophisticated. So watch out for that video. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon.